Um, green folks. This is the Black Result, and today is my One Piece viewing of chapter 887. And the name of that chapter is called Somewhere Someone is Wishing for Your Happiness. And so, the name of the. Uh, so now we are currently dropping in on the lives of the Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet, the volume 20. So I guess uh, this is the end of the Edo arc. And the caption says, kiss and make up or kill each other. I don't care anymore. Because apparently, um, the long leg and the long arm tribe continue to fight over each other for uh, th over a thousand years. So, like, at this point, uh, Edo, who is part of the long arm tribe, he doesn't care anymore. You know, so, um, he decides to leave these guys alone. Which is kind of a good thing because, like, instead of becoming another, pe another you know, peon, or or uh, participate in war and give his life up quite easily. He decides to become a pirate and go his own way. As a result, he's not he's not gonna uh, bring peace or war to these guys. All right, let's go on. All right, the chapter uh, starts off uh, where someone ye when someone yells out, "Lord Oven has been shot by Big A." And another, and one of the Big Mom pirates yell, "They're done for." And another person says, "Big A, you're completely surrounded." Yep. And uh, Lord Oven is sitting down, and he looks, and he doesn't look uh, re uh, severely damaged by the attack. But at the same time, um, at the same time, we don't know his next move quite yet. Anyways, um, someone uh, calls on the Denton Bushi and says that we're close off the sea. And one of the Big Mom underling pirates says, And the land, too. Give it up. Get off your ship. And Lord Oven says, um, presumably towards uh, Big A, Do you choose to fight? Very well. I shall carry out the, your execution myself. And put in as Chiffin, What should we do, sister? Our ship can't leave the harbor anymore. And Sanji is looking on. And Big A... Uh, Baker says, so you're carrying the cake to your ship, but Oven just managed to catch you, eh, Shiffin? And, <laughs> Baker is still holding on towards, uh, Capone Pets, his son. <laughs> and someone, um, yells out, stop your ship, Big A. Uh, another person says, is this a suicide attack? And Lord Oven says, what the hell is that bastard thinking? And turns out that a uh, Capone Beggar's ship has collided with uh, Kako Island. And uh, someone yells out, He has collided with us. Shoot him down. And the Big Mom pirates continue to shoot at Capone Beggar's ship. And Beggar yells out, Out of the way, whippersnappers. This ship, the Nostro Castello. He says, Uh... He yells out, it's amphibious, meaning that it can go uh, um, underwater. <laughs> and it turns out that the ship is actually going on land as well. And like a bunch of uh, powers are yelling, out, are yelling and screaming in pain because uh, the ship is literally running over people because it's a tank. The ship has turned into a tank. And someone yells out, its paddles have turned into tank treads. And at the same time, um, uh, the... Uh, Capone Beggy and Sinch are shooting at, shooting at, um, the Big Mom Pirates. Th this is a nice twist. <laughs> he's, smi he's smiling in a sinister way. And Lord Oven said, I never heard, I never even heard of such a trick. That time has fly. Huh. Anyways, uh, uh another... So, uh, uh, the, uh, the Capone Beckett Pirates, uh, yell, oh my god, the fire tank pirates continue to fire at, um, the Big Mom Pirates, and, um, Beggy says, guys, I never told you about it, uh, yep, that's Beggy, as usual, being sneaky as hell, and while the, uh, Pirates, con while the Big Mom Pirates continue to be screaming and yelling in pain, uh, Capone Beggy says, why would I re reveal my hand to a bunch of louts I plan on betraying anyway? Oh yeah, that's so true. Like, that's how uh, a mob boss and the mafia people um, act. They're always being secretive on purpose. They're not, they're not gonna reveal the pl their plans towards uh, 
anybody. Anyways, uh, someone yells out, Chiffin, pass the cake over to us. And Chiffin says, huh? And one of the chefs says, are you crazy? We could never s safely transfer a cake of this size onto such a uh, fast moving ship. And one of the chefs says, huh? And someone is launching the cake on towards the ship, and I think it's Sanji. He's using uh, one of his legs, that sheer leg strength, to transport the cake on a wagon towards a Capone Big A ship. And one of the ship, and one of the, uh, chefs yell out, "Ah, the carriage is floating!" And Chiffin yells, out, "What that? What in the world is going on?" And Sanji yells out, "Clear the deck, uh, Big A," and. Uh, Charlie put in thinking to herself, Sanji, dear. And she has blood coming out of her nose, so <laughs> this is kind of like a fun, uh, small, funny moment. And someone yells out, Pudding! And Kapum Baker says, Black leg, good, bring it. And Lord Oven is surprised right now because he yells out, Who the hell is that? How is he lifting that with one leg? A cook? And. There's a bunch of uh, yelling noises. Another person's yell out, uh, clear the deck. And um, another, uh, one of the person com compliments uh, Sanji, and he yells out, uh, you're amazing, black leg. Another person says, we made it. Uh, one uh, um, henchman asks, what's this delicious fragrance? <laughs> and Chiffin starts to hug Big A, and she yells out, Big A, Big A. <coughs> And Capone says, uh, are you hurt, my wife? And as one of the chefs asks, one of the chefs asks Lady Putin, um, and he tells her, Lady Putin, keep it together. And, uh, cause Lady Putin is passed out on the ship after seeing Sanji, uh, transport the cake onto the ship. And Vito, uh, yells out, such are the Germa. And Sanji tells him, I'm not the Germa. And Lord Oven continues to look on. And uh, one of uh, the big bomb pirates yell towards him, Lord Oven, please run. And Lord Oven says, come, I'll stop you. And looks like the, looks like, uh, the Nostra Catalillo is is going towards Lord Oven. And they just run, run him over. <laughs> and, and the big bomb pirates yell out, he, he got run over. And everyone is having a face fault. Anyways, uh, Chiffin tells uh, Big A that we need to head for the southeastern seas, Big A. And the... And the, and the child is making baby noises. And Chiffin says, there, there, Pez. I know, it was noisy, right? And... Be uh, Capone Becky says we're going to have a crush a few chocolate houses on the way because uh, there's like a diagram and they need to uh, go straight into Kako Town and then they had to take a left so that would, they'll go back into the sea because basically um, the Straw Hat basically the Big Mom uh, fleet all those guys are at sea while the ships are continuing to pursue uh, Capone Becky but they can't uh, they can't uh, they can't go on the uh, land itself anyways. Lady Putin said, "There's no other way we can make sure all of us get off this island." Anyways, as uh, as the ship continues to move across the land, uh, someone's making a rustle noise. I think that it's Pound. And Chiffin looks on and she says, "She he's still here. Who even is that guy? A pervert?" And um, uh, Kapon Pet looks on, and you know what? Yeah, he uh, he's looking at Pound, which is technically his grandfather, and um, and Pound is thinking to himself, "He sure do look happy." So he gives a grin, 
towards his grandson. And Capone uh, Pez says, ki ha ha Aw, the baby looks uh, really uh, happy. <laughs> oh. Anyways, um, then someone uh, asked uh, the child, uh, huh, what's the matter, Pez? And the other person says, um, and the scene changes, and as the Big Mom powers continue to uh, yell at, uh, the Big Mom powers continue to shoot at the ship, I, uh, one of them yells out, are you going to let them get away? Hold off on the cannons, the cake will be damaged. And someone yells on the dungeon mushies, uh, battleships, head for the southeastern side of the island. Immediately. And. And, um. And, and. In the next panel, it seems that Capone Biggest Ship is finally off the land. And it looks like they're about to get back into the sea. Anyways, one of them yells out, uh, alright. We made it off Kako Island. And. And another person says, now there aren't any battleships to chase after us. And Sanji yells out, thanks for that save, Bege. And Capone Bege yells at Sanji. He, he, he says, I didn't do it for you, Blackleg. And Sanji says, hmm, is it just me or is it getting hot in here? And Vito yells towards uh, the boss. He says, father, something's weird with the ocean, Rero. And someone's uh, looking at the fish. He says, huh? The fish are all floating. And someone yells out the fish are all floating. And the, a bunch of people are seeing the fish uh, coming up to the surface because they're, uh, they're dying from all the heat. And someone says, they've been boiled, boiled by the heat of the ocean. And Sandy says, that's just the right amount of salt. They're probably, they'll probably be pretty delicious. And <laughs> Capone Bega yells out, we're next, idiots. And Capone Bega says, there's but one person that can do something like that. And Capone Baker looks on and he says, Look! Oh crap. And uh, Lord Oven is using this move called Boiling Seas Hell. And Capone Baker says, That's Oven's heat, heat, fruit power. <clears throat> so basically, uh, Lord Oven, uh, he, doesn't have any, he doesn't have to get towards uh, the ship itself. He's using his power to heat the entire um, ocean. If, some, if someone doesn't stop him, uh, the ship will probably be set on fire. This is not good. Anyways, um, someone yells out, it's hot. And another person says, this is bad. The chocolate uh, temperature is going to get be effective. And, and, and the whipped cream will melt. <laughs> and Sanji yells out, and that big mom will be happy with boiled fish. Yep, that's true. And something bad happens. There's um, a small explosion. And oh, oh my god, goodness! Uh, another person yells out, "The heat's destroy our paddles." And another per and another person is yelling, "Oi, oi! Are you trying to sneak the ship?" And one of them uh, asks Lord Oven. He he says, "Lord Oven, have you forgotten just how important this sh this cake is?" And uh, Capone pets uh, the child. He says, "Kia, kia!" And another person says, "Da, da." And Chiffin asks Capone Pets, what's going on, Pets? Why have you started laughing all of a sudden? <laughs> it turns out uh, that as one of the big mom pirates yell out, Lord Oven, look out. Pound looks like he's getting ready to uh, whack a Lord Oven uh, with a, um, a weapon. <laughs> this is just so funny. <laughs> and... And... Come on, I'm trying to get to the next page. And he smashes the bejesus out of Lord Oven's head with that wooden mallet, and it breaks off at the same time. And Pound yells out, "Stop this at once!" And and I can't tell whether or not Lord Oven looks like he's about to fall unconscious, or he, is he just pissed off? And people from the ship look on, and uh, Capone says, "Kia, kia!" And another person asks, "Who the hell is that?" Lord Oven's arch enemy, and as Lord Oven's uh, hands are taken from the ocean, uh, another person uh, tells towards Capone Beke, 
Father, the temperature of the water is dropping. Another person says, run the paddles. And another person says, we got to get out of this hot water as fast as we can. And another person says, Roger. And uh, Pound uh, looks on at Lord Oven and he says, ah, so you didn't fall into the water, huh? And Lord Oven says, you, are you trying to kill your own son-in-law? And, um, and uh, Pound notices something, and it looks like he's looking at the ship, and Chip says, quickly, move us out, must move us out of here, and, and the big, uh, and the Capone Begay's henchman says, yes, mother, and Capone Pets, uh, looks, makes eye contact with, uh, Pound, and he says, kiak, kia. And Pound thinks to himself, he says, My grandson, I know not your name, but are you happy? I'm going to make sure your mommy and daddy take good care of you, okay? Because I couldn't. They're bo uh, and there's a flashback. And, and, the, and he says, and Pound says, They're boring. I'm done with you. Huh? Linlin? And... Pound says, Linlin, let me hold them at least once. They're my children. <sighs> Anyways, uh, uh, Pound says, that was, that was 26 years ago. And... Uh, a pound is doing something toward his bow tie, and he's squeezing something out of it. And pound uh, thinks to himself, Shiffin, I'm glad to see you. If it only once, I got the feeling uh, someone's after you. But uh, Capone Pet starts crying. He says, "Oh gah!" Yeah, he starts crying. So this is kind of sad to see a baby cry. Anyways, um, pound says, "You look happy. I'm glad." And uh, Shiffin says, "What's the matter, Pez?" And Capone Beggar says, "It's okay. We'll be." Out of the hot, wa hot, hot water soon, son. And Pound says, "I was so worried. I am sure you had rough days." And oh my goodness, it looks like uh, Lord Oven's about to uh, slash uh, Pound's uh, head, or worse, chop off his head. And, and Pound says, um, "I was so worried. I'm sure you had rough, rough days and sad days." And this is a flashback of Big Mom yell, like yelling out, and never show me your bloody face again. I'll kill you. And Pound says, I'm sorry I couldn't be by your side, Chiffin. I'm ever so late, but I still want to say. And as the blade ever gets close to Pound, uh, Pound says, congratulations on your marriage. And another person yells out, "We made it out. Let's get away from, from, from now while we can." And Chip says, "Huh?" And there's a panel shot for off the blade. Oh my goodness, Lord Oven. Uh, I think he uh, murdered a uh, pound. No, that's not a thought. It happened. He, uh, Lord Oven has murdered. Um, Pound. This is kind of a, a sad um, you know, scene. Even though he looks like a goofball, uh, he, uh, Chiffin didn't recognize that uh, this was her father, and Capone Pez was the grandson. And the scene changes towards inside Big Mom territory, Sunny, and and the scene changes. And Big Mom has the swirly uh, eyes again. And Jimpy, Nami, Brooke, Chopper, and Carrot are all looking on. And Big Mom yells out, There you are, give me that cake. And, and followed by Big Mom are the uh, pirates, are her uh, Big Mom pirates underlings. And another person yells out on the sunny, uh, If we stop, we're done for. Keep running. And the scene changes towards bigger ships, 
And Sanji says, we got to get started on the decoration. And he yells out, hurry, we don't, we don't have much time. And, this, and the uh, chapter ends just like that. Huh. That was sort of pretty short, but... That, that was still kind of sad at the same time. Oh yeah, this is like one of the rare times that there's a bunch of double pages, so... Alright, that's the end of chapter 887. Yep.